Would the doctors ask Mr. Pickett why Mr. Pickett was there? They, they asked him why he was in the hospital, if he knew where he was, why he was there. And he didn't, didn't have an answer to that, did he? He just, he said every time when asked by one of the medical personnel, I think I was in a wreck. And every time he answered that, he would look over at me. After Mr. Pickett invoked his right to an attorney, um, he didn't reinitiate the conversation with you. You reinitiated it with him by asking him questions, correct? He was questioning of the defendant after he not once but twice requested an attorney, correct? Not about the case, no. Not about his behavior the previous day, no. There wasn't? No. You, you stated that after he asked for a lawyer, he was, Mr. Pickett was asked by you or the other detective, do you know why you're here? You made the statement that he'd be going to jail, correct? No, I made, I made my comment after he invoked his rights. And just to let him know what the procedure would be, then uh, I simply told him that after he was released from the hospital that he would be going to the uh, county jail for booking. And then you asked him a couple of times, will you, will you talk with us? Or is that what you want to do? After he made the comment, after he knew that uh, five people had been killed, are you speaking about when he stated I would like that or when I asked him if he uh, would waive his right to an attorney and talk to us now? Let's take the latter one. That was the second one in time. Correct. Then there was questioning after that, correct? After the initial statement that I would like that? Is that what you're asking? No, after the second time when he specifically used the word attorney. When he did that, as for an attorney, I stated to him, well, we don't uh, provide that. As I was doing that, I was reaching in my notebook to extract a business card. I provided it to him, and I said, when you are, when you retain or appointed an attorney, uh, have him call me, and, and perhaps we can sit down and talk in the future. And nothing else was said until Detective McGee, he asked him if he knew why he was there being detained. And he acknowledged that Deputy Rugg had indicated that he had been in a wreck and that somebody was killed. Then he made the comments about once he went wide-eyed and stared at Sergeant McGee, uh, then he made the comment that he might as well talk to us. It already happened, and uh, he might as, just, might as well talk to us. And I asked him, you want to talk to us now? And he said, yes. And I asked him for clarity. I said, uh, to be clear, uh, you're saying that you want to talk to us now? And he said, yes. And I will render a written decision on the motion to quash and bind over as well as the motion to suppress the defendant's statements. I intend on having that out no later than a week from Wednesday, that is by the 29th of March, so just under two weeks. 